to watching me see and today i want us to talk about how we can evaluate the healthiness of our plate you know the word of god says in first corinthians chapter 10 verse 31 it says that whether we eat or drink or whatsoever we do we should do it to the glory of god so i believe that even in our eating we have to be stewards of our body because we are stewards of God's creation and our bodies are parts of God's creation. So in being stewards of our body, then we have to be able to take dominion of our diet. I know there's a lot of nutrition confusion, but you know, a lot of people say that egg yolk is good. Other people say that is the white and that is good. People say that you have to eat egg every day. Other people say you don't have to eat egg every day and all of that. But there's one thing i want you to know that whatever you eat you can evaluate how healthy it is by by these four tips i want to give you the first tip is ask yourself is this um is this more of processed food or more of raw food processed food they are not too close to how god created it so like if you take um fruits maybe pineapple the processed one is the juice so you have to eat more of the one that is closer to nature than the one that has been processed the second one is am i eating too much added sugar so is your sugar is the is the food that you are eating has too much of added sugar and you can check my post on my facebook page there is um i have um, a list of sugars that can be renamed I term it different sugars in a product you can find them on the ingredients of a product you won't see the name sugar or glucose or the normal one you know but they have other names that they can they can add to the um, the ingredients that you may not think that it's a sugar but it's a sugar so you have to know how much sugar you are eating not necessarily the amount of sugar but you ask yourself is this food more of uh, more of sugar more of added sugar and that's another way to evaluate the healthiness of your plate the third one is am i allowing a lot of varieties in my diet so your diet should be variety of foods so if it is watchy there should be watchy there should be um, macaroni there should be some gari there should be some vegetables there should be some um animal protein there should be some plant protein and that's what we call the four star diet so you have to evaluate your plate to know whether you have a lot of varieties if you are eating cocoa and beans or if you are eating rice i mean the evaluation is the things that you add to your food so that you know that you're having a variety plant animal if you are not an animal person or you are a vegan then is your is your plates varieties of plants different plant based foods the last one i want to talk about is what colors are of my food so god has made it in such a way that the colors that we have the colors that every food represents actually um, speak of the kind of nutrients that is inside the food so carrots is orange and carrots is carrot contains carotenoids we have tomato which looks um, more red and it contains lycopene we have um contumery the green and all of that they all contain different 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 things and it is these colors that gives us all the necessary nutrients so you have to know it's your food one way color or it has different kinds of colors does it have the rainbow color no if you have the rainbow color then it means that you have a healthy plate and if it has just a um, one way color maybe all white or maybe um, just white and green then it means that the colors are missing so you have to know how you incorporate different colors into your food. So these are the only four tips I want to share with you today. And I hope to come to your way with other exciting um, content.
content on food. Thank you. My name is Chris Sansa Chimesi, and I'll see you again in my next video. Please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so that whenever I post, you will get a notification. Thank you. Bye. Bye.